Welcome to the podcast intro, Kate Ritchie, for a Friday afternoon. If you're with us, welcome. Okay. Do you know where we are, what we're doing? I know exactly what we're doing, but it doesn't always have to be a Friday afternoon if you're listening to this, does it? I know that's I'm still trying to get my head around. Where we are now is Friday. In fact, it's 5.23pm. So that's why we're up and about. Because it's, you know, heading into the weekend, yes. heading into the school holidays where I live, in fact. Absolutely. If you're listening in Melbourne now, what's your problem? Because you're, you're on to your 15th <laughs> public holiday in a row. <laughs> yes. uh, maybe you're listening to this instead of watching the grand final, which is ridiculous. But maybe you are. Who knows? There's no judgment. Maybe you're on a plane about to take off. Yes. But wherever you are, thank you for choosing us to be in your ears. And maybe you just don't know how to work your podcast app. You're looking for Will and Woody and yeah, you've got you us go, instead. Oh, no, not those three. Well, it's just the two of us at the moment. Uh, yeah, Joel, but you know, but know when they saw saying. it come up, it would have been the oh. three of us. They don't drop Joel off or put a strike through his name because well, he's not here, do they? If they're not here, it just should be your photo and my photo. I mean, we've done enough single shots. <laughs> yeah, we have. And in fact, the three that you see together are probably not taken at the same time anyway. It's like Beyonce in The Lion King. She yes. wasn't there for the shoot. Yeah. Who yeah. was having the tantrum that day on our shoot? What Joel. do you mean? Oh, let's say Joel, he's not here. Okay. Tantrum is a big word, though. You do get a bit Christian Bale when you're on set. I right? absolutely don't. But I do like the word tantrum because it's not even saying, it's not even only saying that someone's upset. It's that they're doing it in a real childlike manner. Like tanty. Yeah. Oh, look at you having a tantrum. Well, what about this? Look at that woman over there on her menses having a tanty. <laughs> <laughs> menses? Yeah, but it's just like cute ways of saying words. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's menses mean? I don't know. Is that menopause? Is it? Oh, okay. Oh, on her menses. I don't think you're not never on your menses. Okay, well look at that. You're lady going there, through going menopause. Through her menses Let's be a respectful of something highly, you know. <sighs> Woofed. Okay, you can do. I just didn't know how to help you. <laughs> oh, I was talking about something I don't really know enough oh, about no. anyway now. Oh well. There's something to look forward to. Hey, you know, the the, the joys of being a lady, yes. am I right? Oh, and blokes just just calm down and you stop complaining. Say say sorry and keep your head down and you'll be fine. <laughs> um, enjoy today's podcast, guys. We'll see you October three, three. when we return live. We've just got a little week off, tiny week. But apparently, we've got some uh, Origin podcasts next week. Check them out. Not about Two football though. No, no, no. About Pink and also Joel not being able to say words. So just keep us in your feed is what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Have fun, guys. Okay, don't have a tanty. Bye. Kate, Tim and Joel. Listen via the Nova Player. Download it now from the App Store or Google Play and take Nova wherever you go. The Nova Player. Mic one on. Mic two, that's you, Kate. Right, here we go. Mic three, Joel Creasy. Come down and spend some time with the guys. This is Kate, Tim and Joel. Take them to the place I love. Some radio, man. Yes, yes. Okay, strap him. Oh, we're doing it. We are so doing it. That's cute. Welcome to Friday, Kate Ritchie. Thank you, Tim Blackwell. It is just the two of us today, and it's also a special day. It is Redhead Appreciation Day, and I thought Shirley Manson has rocked red hair from garbage her oh. whole career. This is a great song. You told me I'd like it. Is it her nat? Is she naturally a redhead and enhanced it, or is she just, you know what, make this red? Well, I think she's Scottish, so I'd say yes. You know, blind at least. Scottish. She was born in Edinburgh. She's redhead. Yeah, I'm, I was explaining my Scottish Scottish roots to my daughter this week. All this British chat. Put her to sleep early, did it? <laughs> God, she was like, seriously, Mum, find something good. Oh, I'm gonna have to. This is my song on the way home tonight. I think. Oh, God. to Melbourne when I was 18. This was the first concert I went and saw on my own. Go, baby, go, go. Don't talk over this bit. We're right behind you. Go, baby, Don't you? go, go. I'm trying not to. Yeah, uh, we're looking at you. Go, baby, go, go. Oh, we're right behind you. Go, baby, go, baby. Yeah, we're looking at you. Go, baby, go,
one text message, no Ed Sheeran on Redhead Appreciation Day. Well, we play Ed Sheeran. Just not today. Thanks, Shirley Manson, and happy Redhead Appreciation Day to all the redheads. Yeah, all the rangers out there. We love you. I love them. I'm, my family's full of them. Natural or otherwise. It's fine. No judgy here. Uh, it's Kate, Tim and Joel. Mine is Joel Creasy today. Kate, Tim and Joel on Nova. No Joel Creasy today, but that's fine. I'm always here, as we've established, and um, you're you're very recently well, always Well, inter- <laughs> intermittently. <laughs> but I'm back, baby. It's the great thing about the Kate Tim and Joel show. You never know who you're going to get. Exactly. Yeah, it's the only thing that changes. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, Joel is doing something pretty special. He is, actually. But I He's actually, very, I'm, yeah. I'm oh, annoyed. Well, as opposed to me. Well, you were. No. <laughs> but I'm annoyed that he's not here today because him and I had a text argument last night. Oh. See if you can get him on the phone today, actually. Because I think he's busy, though, which well, is why he's not here. He's busy, but, you know, oh. like we still spoke to you. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> okay. like how busy are you? What, yeah. are you running the country? No, I know. Well, I mean, Albo comes on our show to talk about the Rabbitohs. Yeah. He's busy. <laughs> Actually, you should uh, see if Albo's around today as well, because he might want to talk up the uh, Rabbitohs game tomorrow, even though it is a lot about the uh, the grand final, the AFL grand final. No, but uh, Joel Creasy went to Billie Eilish last night. I did know this. And Samantha J, did he not? Well, yeah, and he loved that. So let's park that. Did okay, well, that's not part of it. No, he oh, this it. is this is the Billie Eilish thing that he crowbarred into our conversation the other day when we were talking about something completely different. Yeah. He went to Billie Eilish in Melbourne. Now, um, Billie and her brother Phineas are doing four shows in Melbourne at Rod Laver Arena. He's so, pretty great, isn't he? Phineas. Mm. Well, I spoke to him today for my podcast. It'll be out next week. Oh. But Richmond in Victoria will be a mad place to be tomorrow night because think about the AFL Grand Final wrapping up and then Billie Eilish on at Rod Laver Arena. Oof. <laughs> on the same night? Yeah, and in the same area. Like, next one up, one after the other. Can you see both? Oh, you totally can. <gasps> the great thing about the AFL Grand Final is it's over. It starts at 2pm. You'll be, you'll be wrapped oh, up by 6 years. See, I don't even know these things. You could have a quick dinner in between. Well, you could if you get in anyway. <laughs> yeah. oh, good luck. Oh, God, I'm so busy. So Joel messaged me, and I, look, you know what? I'm going to say, I'm going th- to out him. Not out him like that. I think everyone knows he's a homosexual. Um, <laughs> really? Oh, my God. Is when? It? Since when? Oh, well, since he was born. I um, knew he loved shoes. Uh, okay, there you go. Yeah. Read that. Read the, 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 those. Am I, wait, no, but which? What bit am I reading? No, the two that he sent me. Don't read my stuff. You, you'll know the two straight away. The first one starts with Billy. Billy sucks. Am I allowed to say that? Well, that's what he <gasps> reckons. So boring. Oh. And then another one was. Does she have any hits? Like, this isn't serious? music. This isn't music. Oh, oh this through. is don't interesting. Scroll through oh, my where, actual oh, phone. Kate is a right. No, oh my god. <laughs> I don't swear like a, a British person from the 30s. Kate's a right tosser. <laughs> oh, what, so what, but, but, what show but was like, he seeing? Has she got any hits? Are you serious? Eight Grammys. Well, if it's not spinning around by Kylie Minogue, it's no, not a uh, hit. So he saw Samantha Jade afterwards. Of course he loved it. And who wouldn't? But seriously. I think, I mean, a hit really. Yes, on paper, things are a hit because we know the numbers. But a hit is really how many, like if, if it's in your life, if it's affected you, if you've yeah. sung along in the car to it. Okay. The biggest songs in the world, if you've never heard them before, they're not a hit to you. Well, that is a really great sitting on the fence <laughs> um, answer. And uh, uh, Australia's got Taylor on the phone and you've been fired. Classic. <laughs> Lucky you've recorded all your episodes. Because... Classic Richie. <laughs> well, a hit, obviously, it depends on who you are and what it means to your life. Are you, you know, Joel's not here. Oh, I mean, seriously. But Joel, what was he expecting? I don't know. I don't think you can go to a show of someone that you're not absolutely in love with mm. and judge it necessarily. You know what I mean? No. Like if you're just going to try it out and and I don't I'm also not throwing no, Joel don't. under the bus here. Part of why he would have gone to the show mm-hmm. is for the social aspect. Not well, the talent. No, for sure. I will say this, though. I, when I go to see a live show, like if I go to the movies versus watch a movie at home, mm. I'm much more inclined to come out of that movie if I've gone to the movies and say I liked it because I'm very happy for the experience and 
Yeah, respectable. you go. How good are the movies? And how good? Yeah. Are, you know, actually, um, I will. I'm going to do a little Billie Eilish here for you now because she's playing in Melbourne. She's wrapping up her tour in uh, Perth soon. You know, tools down, guys. It is Friday. Thanks to McCain, every caller on today's show gets fifty bucks cash because mates, chips, and trivia. You know, nothing special. McCain pub style chips. There's something special about nothing special. Thirteen twenty four ten. I need you on the phone very quickly. I've just got to ask you a quick question. Right now, thirteen twenty four ten. Guy, girl. Anything in between 13, 20, 14 right now? Just a quick question about the next song. One Come one on. question. Uh, do you know I heard a Billie Eilish track the other day, which I hadn't heard before, which was with um, Troy Boy. Had you heard it? I'm looking What's into the truth, Troy Boy Aaron's It's a great song. Troy Boy. Have a look in it. Have a look at it. Troy Boy's the guy that samples the, um, you know, when we were in that car, the car that day, and it was the speak and spell. I, I, like, um, uh, I, C E. Oh yeah, spells yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ice. Yeah, or yeah, 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 yeah. He samples that a lot. Oh. I think people who were born late nineties and two thousands don't know it's been sampled. Maybe. Well, we need to get a, a, a grab of that. I don't know what that is. Troy but, Boy, Billy Eilish. Song's called My Boy. Okay. Well, very quickly, Braden's here. Hey, Braden. Hey, how are you? Have you seen Billy Eilish since you've been in town? Uh, no, my siblings went, actually. Okay. Well, you are on the radio, which means you've got 50 bucks thanks to McCain, so amazing. I've got uh, Billy Eilish. Would you like to hear Bad Guy in its original form or Bad Guy from Nova's Red Room? Uh, Nova's Red Room, actually. Lovely. Oh, That's all you needed to do. Good answer. I believe you can still unlock that whole performance on our Nova player. Is that right? So jump on the Nova player, unlock this performance. This is for you, Joel Creasy, and no one else. Turn it up in your cars at home. And you can unlock the entire Red Room if you jump on the Nova Player app now. Do it. Kate, Tim and Joel. There you go, Billie Eilish. In Nova's Red Room, a little bad guy. Go and see her. If you're in Melbourne, uh, she's on till Monday, I believe, with Phineas and then Perth wrapping up. Wrapping up a, a, a tour that started in February. Imagine that. Wow, hey. It'll be a good Christmas, though. What's that? Oh. <laughs> Why do you bring back things to Christmas? Well, with that, there'll be money in the bank. Oh, I see what you're saying. I think that she's done all right. Uh, 75th <laughs> okay. show was last night. Wow, 75th show. 75? How many did, um, How many did we do Amy Shark do? Well, that's a good call. She did like 120 or something, didn't she? King Charles was about to Amy Shark it. I noticed your calendar changed. When? Well, no, just... mine didn't. Oh, did it? Oh, no, Bree said Oh, where my phone is. Yeah. Bree. Okay. All right. Um, anyway, should we talk very quickly about uh, Gen Zs or Gen Zs? Because yeah. are you a boring Gen Z and do you fit into this category? Because I'm not sure any Gen Z I know oh, yes. is into JOMO, the joy of missing out. If you're a sad sack Gen Z, give us a call and tell us why you don't like going out. Because that's one of the great joys about being no, but, young. Well, this is this is a perfect conversation for the two of us. Because I'm a I'm I don't know which generation generation I am in. Baby boomer? <laughs> no, I am not. <laughs> and you know what? Nothing wrong with the baby boomers. You know, I'm. I think I'm. Ju- I'm the. I'm the first year of Gen Y. And what am I then? You because I'm X. 78. Be yeah, X. I'm the one before. Yeah. I'm trying to think who I played with, who was on, who I was on the panel with when I went and did um, talking about your generation well, all those Josh years Thomas's ago. Team. No, I wasn't with. I was with um, Charlie Pickering. Yes. So which one is he? Oh, here we go. What's this? What was on the bottom of our sheet? Where is it? We're doing it. No deal. Oh, here we are. Gen Z refers to people born 97 to oh, 2012. <laughs> Sorry. Gen Y or Millennials are 1980 to 1994. So that's a me. And so you're Gen Z. Oh, no, Gen Z's the uh, 1997. What's after Gen Z? Oh, y. hang on. I'm looking now. No, it's, it's gone the, it's gone oh, the it wrong way around. Are. It started with the youngest instead of starting with the oldest. And that's, okay. my, that's my bad. Uh, Gen X are 1965 to 1980. So you're, you've got a wide, a wide group of people there. Yeah, I do. But same with me. Look, I'm not. Look, look at me. I'm well, a, I don't I'm, like to be classified. Let's I'm, just I'm make a that Gen very y clear. I'm a Gen Y with not people from 1994. Okay. Well, what we are asking is, well, are you a boring Gen Z? And that they are the people what born between 97 and 2012. Apparently, they there's a new trend called JOMO, and it does see people cancelling plans and being really, you know, super excited to do so. I want to make plans. I want to add things. I look at two days free and go, what can I put in here? 
Well, I don't. You know what I do? I make, well, I worry about making the plans. Then I think I should make the plans. Then I make the plans. Then I think, oh, God, I shouldn't have made the plans. Then I spend ages thinking about how I'm going to get out of making the plans. Mm-hmm. Well, you talk about you, you talk about the radio awards in January and they're in October. <laughs> Well, you have to. Do you know what? Oh, do you? You talk about them in January and then all of a sudden, oh, they're four weeks away and no one's organised anything. Yeah, because you've talked about it all year. Just let it happen. Don't say that. Well, I don't talk I about know. them. I do not. No, anyway. The Logies you talk about. Because, no. you know, you're in, well, this is true. People might not know this, but you're you're guaranteed two tickets to the Logies every year because you've won gold Logies. And I haven't been for years. No, why not? You've got to go. I'll, I'll be your I've plus one. No, I'll come with you. I'll I be your don't guest. want you to be my yeah, plus one. Do. I'll never be invited again. People um, like me around. I've discussed that. <laughs> Don't, well, you'll make me look good. Um, I need to, next time I go to the Logies, I, 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 I ha, want to have something to talk about in that world. I'm not just going for the free feed. I just don't want the next time you appear at the Logies to be the in memoriam section. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know what? I'll go next year because of AGT, won't I? Well, that's 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 putting the um, I mean, horse it'll before be, the carriage. Oh, you, you, know, you haven't been nominated yet. No, but I get to go anyway, regardless of nomination. You know what? I'll be there up the front with Ricky Lee, and you won't get to go, and you'll be super jealous. Do you reckon Channel 9's Logies want, want to big up anything on Channel 7? Uh-uh. What? Do you think the Channel 9 Logies yeah. want to make a big deal about a show on Channel 7? Can I tell you something? Guess oh, what? Sorry. Trivia. You guys aren't nominated. Guess what? Bit of trivia for you. The Logies going to 7? Yes. When? Now. As of now. Are you serious? Yes. And I did an interview with TV Week the other day. Spoiler alert. Oh, hang on. Three people are going to be chuffed with that. <laughs> <laughs> so Ricky and I will be there and you won't be invited. Yeah, but Channel 9 aren't pro- doing the Logies. No. Since when? It's gone to Channel... Did you not cover it in the glossies? Well, why would we? That's... Oh, did we? Where was I? Was I off? <laughs> In the clouds. Now, Jack, are you a Gen Z? Are you are, are, are you into this new trend called JOMO? JOMO? Uh, not really, but, I mean, sometimes, you know, going out to the city and stuff, it's just a bit too crazy with all the money and, you know, stuff. Your friends always want to go out to the city and it's just way too expensive. I mean... Where are you? Like, what city are you calling from? Uh, I'm calling from, like, Hornsby area. Oh, okay, and to so get into Sydney. Way, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's way far to get into the city and all that. I mean, if you live close, sure, but... How much are you paying for a schooner at your local? My local? $5.80. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, I paid, I paid $11 in? for a schooner the other day. Oh, yeah. See, that's a rip-off. Oh, I agree. That's what I said. I still drank it and paid for it, but I still said, this is a rip-off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll have another one, thanks. <laughs> I spent 2000 bucks on schooners. It's crazy, <laughs> the world. Uh, thank you, mate. Um, Shana, what about you? Are you in the Gen Z? I, I'm a Gen Z, and I honestly do not like going out anymore. <laughs> Why? Do you have a boyfriend or girlfriend, or what do you what do you do instead of going I do. out? I do. I have a boyfriend. He's Steve, but honestly, all of our friends just like to come over, and we just have a campfire and some beers. <laughs> Well, that sounds okay. nice. Well, that's still at doing least you're something. being social. I just don't want people at home on their own, not going out, scrolling through TikTok and watching Netflix when they could be out there meeting people. Look, I, I mean, I admit, I spend way too much time on TikTok. Yeah, <laughs> so that's the problem. So, like, you know, when we were growing up, Kate, there was no reason for us to stay in our room because what's in there? Like, what, a CD player? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, not in your case, but like reel to reel or something. But... <laughs> Finger puppets. <laughs> Punch and Judy show. Here's one for the Gen Z. Kate, Tim and Joel. Non-verbal communication of the week. Oh, yeah. Thanks for your non-verbals. Get in touch anytime on our socials. You can text us as well. 04800 KT Day. You'll love this one, Kate Ritchie. Philippa. Because Robbie Williams was on the project last night. I think he's performing at the AFL Grand Final tomorrow. I have a feeling. With Delta? Is that right? Together? Yeah, well, that's what I've seen in the news oh, okay. today. I haven't seen the news yeah. today. I've seen Del- some stories. <laughs> yeah, Delta Goodrum. There you go. How's this? Very quickly, I was in a hi-fi shop today picking up a hi-fi system. And I was talking to these two girls from Melbourne. Mm. And I said, what are you doing in Sydney? And they're like, well, it's funny. My um, best friend and this person's daughter is actually in Melbourne as Robbie Williams's choreographer. And I'm up in Sydney dog sitting. 
Oh, hilarious. They've done the house swap. They've done the house swap. Um, this one's from Philippa, though. Please get the audio from Robbie Williams on the project when he talks about the Hemsworth brothers. Which one's the main Hemsworth? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I love both of them, both of them. Uh, he's a big fan of both of them. Thank you, Philippa. That reminds me. It's like the Hunger Games out there. Only no one looks like Liam Hemsworth. Maybe Luke Hemsworth. There's no such thing as a Luke Hemsworth. <laughs> or this. What's your ball size? Surprisingly decent sized. I call them the Hemsworth brothers because they look great and everyone's surprised there's a third one. I'm not I'm not getting involved. No, you don't have to. Maybe when they say the Hemsworths, both of them, they mean Craig and Leone, the lovely oh, parents. Oh, that's what they mean. Robbie Williams probably means the parents. Yeah. Congratulations, Philippa. You got a UE boom. Hey, Tim and Joel. Now, I know it's all about the AFL in Melbourne at the moment, but you know what else is huge? The Melbourne Cup Carnival. For the glory and the glorious October 29th and November 5, tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster. Your last chance to win a trip for you and a mate to Stakes Day. Flights to come, transfer, spending money, it's pretty massive. It's a great prize. Yo, Lauren. Yeah, hey! Yay, yay. Yay, nay, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really loving hearing you back on radio. It's been great this week. Oh, oh, thank you so much. I really hope we can uh, send you to the Melbourne Cup Carnival. Yes, please. Right, you know how it works. I've got some fascinating facts. Get it? Fascinated? <laughs> yeah, I get it. Yeah, he's actually, so clever, When we isn't went to he? Derby Day, you wore a hat, though, not a fascinator, didn't you? You were more of a hat girl. Oh, God, that was a long time yeah, ago. I no, I went a hat. I, 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 look, I have a flurry of all of them, but I do prefer a big hat. Fascinators are a bit strange. Well, they can they can go bad. They can go wrong. I think you can't really go wrong with a hat. It's almost like you've fallen into the bushes and come out with a fascinator. Yeah, and come out. Um, anyway, Lauren, sorry, we're just digressing. Um, basically, you say yay if the fact is true or nay if the fact is false. You need five in 15 seconds. It's pretty doable. You and the mate to stake. So what part of the world are you uh, in? Uh, up in Sydney. Oh, so you'll get to go to the Melbourne Carp? Yes, please. I'll just all in. <laughs> yeah, that's so exciting. And I, rec- I easily think you can get these, as Black has said. Yeah. Actually, speaking of um, Sydney and racing, you know, Royal Ramwick, the yes, race course, I, I think do. that's one of only... <laughs> two or three race courses in the world that the Queen approved to have the royal name attached to. Oh, as in Royal Randwick? Yeah, there's Royal Ascot in the UK. There's Royal Randwick. I'm not oh. sure where the other royals are. So you can't just use the word royal willy-nilly? I don't, I don't believe so. Not officially. I mean, there's a pub called The Royal. I'm sure they just got away with it. Well, there's a royal in Randwick. There's a royal And even the, even the mall's called Royal. Don't know why I know so much about well, it. Maybe that's why, because since the Queen said, yes, you can do that, everyone went, well, we'll jump on that. Oh, we can do that. I think the subway near you is called The Royal. <laughs> um, all right, here we go. No, you order The Royale. Oh, with cheese. Okay, 15 <laughs> seconds on the clock, Lauren, after my first fascinating fact. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Melbourne Cup takes place on the first Tuesday in November. Yay. Melbourne Cup Carnival takes place at Flemington Racecourse. Yay. A gallop is faster than a trot. Yes, yay. yay there yay. are five letters in the word horse. <laughs> yay. Horses have four legs. Yay. yay. I think you've done it. Well done. <laughs> oh, I mean, yay. we really need to. We yay, really yay. need to. Well done, Giddy up. Well done, we yeah. haven't heard that all week, have well we? Well done, no. Yes, Giddy up, you and your friend are going to Stake State in Melbourne. Flights, accommodation, tickets and spending money. Well done. Yay! Uh, she's a beast. I call her karma. Tim and Joel. Friday night, gentlemen. It's Friday. It's Friday. On Nova. Shall we take a dip? Go to Am I on? Yep. Okay. Are you all right? Yeah. Do you want me to run around there and plug your... Uh, to jump in the water, but my cans in? cord came out. Are we getting out. in right now? Well, so not yet. We'll oh, get good. in in a sec after the next song. Turn around while I tap my towel off. Because you've got no bathers on either. Like, well, I, know, I but do, your first but they're just... Ages, they are new. so tiny. You can barely see them. <laughs> wow. Um, actually, in the jacuzzi next, we're discussing what's your claim to fame. Uh, 13, 24, 10. If you have a claim to fame, right... Could be even something you're proud of about your own body. Yeah, it like, could be. I've got the best toes in town. You know, a lot of people don't like their feet, but you yeah. might be the one person that's proud of your foot. Everyone's like, "Oh my god, your feet are so amazing!" Or it could be at the local surf club, and you, you know, you're famous for or known for what is it we're doing? Local surf cl- club. Not yeah. everyone lives in your TV show. <laughs> 
love. Who has a local surf club? Well, they do, don't they? Do and your, they? your claim to fame is the guy that maybe you didn't even swim a certain length. You kind of just... Oh, wow. Eight, eight, 25 hot dogs, and that was your claim to fame. I've really normally, liked that up. Normally when you have an example, you've got to have an example. I know, but I, <laughs> do you know what? The example I was going to say was about drinking schooners, and I thought, no, Kate, oh, don't say that. Oh, the schooner record. Maybe you're a little Bob Hawke number. Okay, 13, 24, 10. What is your claim to fame? It'll make sense in a second. Plus, I caught up with Phineas, Billy Eilish's brother, who's playing shows in Melbourne this weekend. Many. I'll get a little grab of him talking about the AFL Grand Final coming up, too. Kate. Tim and Joel. Oh, this is exciting. Would you like that? Oh, no. Stop. Stop. Oh. That, mean, that means we go home. Yeah, no, no, don't do that, please. Don't do that. That's just linked in with it. I'm trying to do the bubbles, not the sweepers. Oh, let me, oh there you go. Well, you did it with your boob. Let me. I oh, know. It's cold. <laughs> <laughs> How good's the jet? Oh, oh my God. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You realise when you're in the pool with your kids and you're like, I oh, know you've discovered the jet. Yeah, no, because you're not moving. And you're not moving uh, and your face <laughs> is doing all kinds of weird things. You look like you're, you're weighing. You've got a lifetime of that ahead of you. Get off the jet. <laughs> you can't get near the jet. Sometimes they suck your hair in, don't they? Do they? Yeah, you can't go under the water in a, oh, no. in a jacuzzi well, for many health reasons. Of course not. What about the jacuzzi at public pools? What about when you go and stay at one of those little motels and that haven't had the jacuzzi on for a while? Because not everyone who stays there has time to have a jacuzzi, and then you pop it on, and all this like oh yes, I've seen that filth comes out that? the jets. That's called scum. Oh okay. <laughs> who's the one? Who's the old uh, actress that that does the ad for the scum? Like pop. No, don't say don't say old actress. The old, the old, I know the who you're talking about. Paula, Paula, Paula Duncan. Paula Duncan spray and wipe. Yeah, and she mentions... Yeah, she's rushing around the house. I love her. I saw her recently, actually. I've got a story about Paula Duncan, not for on air, but I'll tell you that in the break. She's so fun. Susie Elliman told me. Oh, of course. Well, they're 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 off they're from the same tree or cut from the same. Yeah, my today extra wife cut from the same cloth. There you go. Yeah, Susie Elliman, my today extra wife, told me about it. Anyway, um, two men. This is why we're talking about um, what's your claim to fame. What is your claim to fame? Two men are currently fighting over who has the biggest undercarriage. Okay, they're actually fighting over who has the. Yeah. Oh, wow, eh? Now, okay. Roberto from Mexico is claiming his peen is 18.9 inches long. That's okay, 48 no, centimetres. I think we've met this bloke before. Well, you may have. Well, no, no not personally. <laughs> but I, I think, I have a feeling that both these guys we've seen before because they do both hold records, don't they? Well, kind of. Because okay. the other one, jo, oh, Jonah from New York, has cast doubts on the validity of his claims. Now, 48 centimetres is 18 centimetres longer than a ruler. That's well, a it's long wiener. Half, that's half a metre. Is that... Can I ask if that's... Um... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. But, you, but there's going oh, to be a little twist in a second that'll make sense. Because then a scan of Roberto's undercarriage revealed that it's actually only six inches long. And he used, since he was a kid, various weights and bands to stretch the skin. So the 48 centimetre part is actually just the... So if I, drew, if I drew you a little diagram, that's kind of where it ends right there. But then that's where it ends oh, it's so nice. down there. You don't, Because you of don't. the weights. So what does he do? How long does it take to... So jo- Jonah, the other bloke, has branded Roberto's claim of the world's biggest pain ridiculous and he firmly believes his 34.29 centimetre is legit wins the competition because holy moly, like look at this. It's, it's basically, what's his name? John Ham. John Ham, Matt Shervington. It's like Matt Shervington's got the cash cow stuffed in there. Why is he wearing... Channel 7. Yeah, no, I know, what, yeah, I know what you mean. You're on, your, on your network. Is it my network? Used to be. Used to oh, live there. Well, used to oh, there. I'm about to be there, yep. Um, it's your side hustle network. It's my side hustle network. Uh, Nova Entertainment's your main, your main house. Of course and your it is. Summer my, house, my priority. And your summer house is Channel 7. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Not, not more fun, though, just summer. Oh, no, it wouldn't be more fun. It's TV. They don't know how to have fun on TV. Oh, they really do. Um, they really uh, don't. Why are they wearing... Sh- why is he wearing shiny blue well, bike shorts? I'll show you the length. I guess. I'll show you, not the length, the outline of it. Um, so these blokes are, are in a battle. They're almost in a sword fight, you might say, Kate Ritchie. Does it matter? Well, it doesn't matter, but this is your claim to fame, Lisa. What's yours? 
Mine was sitting in the gutter with Kurt Cobain, Dave Grohl and Chris from Nirvana and getting their autograph. Well, hang on, oh what God, gutter? Hang on, you've got to explain. When was this? Oh, do I have to show my age? 1991 at the Old Phoenician Club. Oh, so Nirvana. Yes. Yep. Okay. Out. They're in the gutter having a ciggy. Well, kind of, whatever they were. Whatever it was they were doing. What was Kirk Cobain like? Was, can, you, can you tell me what he was like? Uh, I feel it small. I remember him being small, but um, yeah, it was uh, pretty pretty spectacular. But that's my claim to fame. I that's, use it all the time. Fantastic. I love that. That's a, that's a pretty awesome I Met story. I have a claim to fame about Kate Moss. It's not for the radio, but oh, no. it was about 30 <laughs> seconds with Kate Moss. And, that, as yeah, I said, and it's, it's not, not what radio. you think. It's oh, no. Like, <laughs> no, no, no. That would have been yeah, much no, shorter. Don't, don't try it here. <laughs> no, all right. <laughs> What's your, have you got a claim to fame? Oh. Uh, apart from, obviously, your actual <laughs> fact that you're famous. Um, claim to fame. I mean, you've spent some time with me in the gutter. Oh, I haven't, have I? <laughs> You mean in here? No, Depends in what the actual idea gutter. The, oh, in the gutter. Yeah, yeah but the literal gutter. Sitting in the gutter waiting for a cab or something. Oh, I don't do that kind of yeah, thing. Is this Patrick or Porrick? Because it, Oh, Porrick. How are you saying it? Porrick. Porrick. As in... As, as in, in do- oh, poor do- Rick. No, as in... What's the what's the character from the um, Black Adder series? Something Rick. Dulrick. Baldrick. Baldrick. <laughs> is this Baldrick or Porrick? <laughs> Porrick? Porrick, yeah. Porrick. Where's that name from? I love that name. It's an Irish name. It's the Irish for Patrick. Oh my God! Well, you know what? It. Guess what, Portic? We're actually going to see the cores in November. Are you bringing me? I can bring you if you would like. Fantastic! I... Oh, what's your favourite chorus song? Just, I don't know anyone. Uh, single ladies. Single ladies. How old no, are you? Oh, that's Beyonce. I'm uh, 24. Okay. Oh. Now, Portic, what's your claim to fame? My claim to fame is I can drink more pints than anyone. Mm. Yeah. Is that something to be proud of, Portic? Yeah. 100%. It's on, my, it's on my resume. Okay, so how many can you do and in what length of time? Without the, yeah, Surely the record has to be where you're not absolutely lagless. Oh, never lag. Well, it depends how long the sitting is, first of all. Of course. And uh, what about it also what... depends what kind of pints we're on, because if we're on the Guinness, yes. I can go all night and I can have plenty of them. Now, lager, ale, cider might be a little bit different. Cider makes my tummy a wee bit sore, but, you know, Guinness, we can go all night. I, I agree. Guinness is like one of the easy drinks. Are you more of a Guinness or a Kilkenny guy? I'm more of a Guinness lad now, to be honest. All right. What about Jamison? Where do you sit on Jamison? I love wee Jamison. I like uh, a few whiskeys. Green spots, nice whiskey. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, what about it... Boomers? Oh, or, or, no, Bushmills. Bushmills is a nice Irish whiskey. When are you going home? Jesus. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Boric. Joel's joining yeah. us in a second with uh, Word Alarm. Word Alarm. I don't have to do the Irish accent for that anymore, do I? Maybe a good clipping's what they need. Kate, Tim and Joel, driving you home on Nova. Oh, yeah. If you're in Melbourne, what a weekend you got. I mean, Billie Eilish playing Rod Laver Arena, one of her four shows. Tonight, tomorrow and Monday in Melbourne. What a time it will be in Melbourne around that area tomorrow. Mm-hmm. AFL Grand Final wraps up. Yep. Potentially a Swanee's win, maybe. You never know. And then into Billie Eilish. It's huge. I spoke to Phineas, uh, Billie's brother today. You'll be able to hear him on my podcast next week. We're off next week, but you can still listen to the podcast. Yeah. If you, I mean, you're not going to have to miss Tim very much. Oh, thanks. But I asked him, like, you're in Melbourne, Phineas. Like, you're going to be going, maybe sneaking into the grand final. Um, who's Which team am I supposed to root for? Well, it's hard because it is Melbourne versus Sydney. It's like Geelong versus the Sydney Swans. You are in Melbourne, so it would be probably harsh for you to say you're going for the Sydney Swans. So That's so, like, bananas regional. I know that, like, the US <laughs> is the same way, but it's, like, it's so, it's so funny. It is city versus city tomorrow night, or tomorrow, Arvo. Sydney who, who are you going for? I'm going for the Swannies. Oh, okay. Yeah, because Geelong... Break Hawthorne's heart all the oh, time. Oh, I see what you're doing. But go see Billy then finishing her show Thursday and Friday in Perth. Hey, Tim and Joel. Tim's Word Alarm. My Word Alarm. Tim's Word Alarm. Tim's Word Alarm. The Word Alarm. I don't get it. It's my Word Alarm. Tim's Word Alarm. That's Tim's Word Alarm. Oh, 
Oh, it's so weird, you know, because you haven't been here all show and then here you are, like magic. Well, like, I love your word alarm. Yeah, it's my word alarm. Tim's word alarm. It's like yeah. a bat signal. I, yeah, I, I fly back. <laughs> yeah, we know Subi's word alarm from Mission Get Up, which apparently is still 5 till 10 a.m. Poor guy. <laughs> no, my thank you. Goodness. Radio Hamburg. This is how they play. Stübis Wortalarm bei Radio Hamburg. Die mit dem Schwert und Rüstung aus dem Mittelalter. Wie hießen die? Ritter. Ja, ähm, ein Richter fällt ein. Urteil. Perfekt. Er brennt in der Mitte vom Ferienlager ein. Lagerfeuer. Genau. Was für eine Spezies ist Ariel von Disney? Äh, äh Meerjungfrau. Jawohl. Äh, Leitungswasser kommt aus dem. Wasserhahn. Ja, Hahn. <lacht> Perfekt. Das waren sechs gültige, Gabi. 60 Euro für dich. Wunderbar. Wunderbar, that's my favorite. Oh, Wunderbar. I love his voice. Uh, Do you really yeah, like it? Yeah, I want to be over there eating a Wiener Schnitzel. You want to be eating Stubi? <laughs> I don't mind the look of Stubi, I've you got to be honest. Stubi. Hmm. Wouldn't it be funny if we worked out that the middle guy is Stubi? Yeah, anyway, and I had to commit I, to it. Which one? Stubi, you see the one on the right? Oh, oh I, yeah. think, I think it's Stubi's vertilum. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say no to Stubi either. He's very oh, well, cute. Stubi, and he has, you know what? He has the fun little eyes above his ear. Oh, oh, that's fun. Like that looks like a little smile. And that'd be fun to say, I'm, I'm dating Stubi, and when you yeah. text it to a friend, it looks yeah, all... Stubi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm, fun. Stu- I'd what call him Stu. Stub. Hey, Stubs. Stub. Hey, Stubs. Uh, mm. I know you are playing for people. It's 10 euros per um, Vertilum that you get correct. Mm-hmm. Um, let me go through it before we introduce the people, because you're both playing for a contestant. Akira, uh, Kate's playing for you. Hello, Kira. Hi. How are you going? Wow. Oh, you Where are have you been about? my whole radio career? <laughs> uh, and Sharon. Joel's playing for you tonight. Hi, Hello. Sharon. Hi. Hi, babe. Okay. Oh, I could love it. Kate's standing and I could feel her competitive energy no, and it just I makes know. me feel alive. I'm so glad you're here. I know. I don't. I'm not feeling competitive at all. Oh, bull. <laughs> Well, yeah. do you want to go first because you have to chuff off early again? Or okay, what are I'll you go doing? first because also that'll make <laughs> yes. you extra competitive because then you have to match me. Uh, there's 30 uh, seconds on the clock, okay? I'll describe a word without naming it. For example, it's a vet and comes out of clouds. Water. Water. No, rain. Rain. Oh, sorry, we do And you normally yell it. What's wrong with you? Well, well, can you come up practice? with a different example? Uh, all right. No, because then that would be using a, a, a one that we could use. Yeah, I like doing that as, like, you know, the thing. Oh, it makes everyone feel comfortable. Yeah. Okay. Everyone yeah. can get involved. So, you, know, <laughs> you know, you know what to expect. It's like they say with kids. It's why kids watch the same movie over and over again because they feel comfortable and safe because right. they know what's about why? to happen. Yeah, of course they do. Oh, okay. okay, here we go. Okay, we need to be tight right, for time let's here. Go. Let's Your go. time starts at the end of my first vert alarm. Okay, I'm ready. Which city is the Golden Gate Bridge located? San Francisco. When you use the thing to brush your teeth. Toothbrush. Something you drink water out of. Cut. The fast food restaurant with the slogan, I'm loving it. McDonald's. What do you use to write on a piece of paper? Pen. A place a child goes to learn. Uh, school. A bearded man who delivers Santa. your presents. You wear it on your wrist. Uh, bracelet. Tears the time. Watch. <laughs> what do you wear on your feet when you go for a run? Joggers. The meal you eat in the middle of the day. My lunch. A piece of material you use to blow your nose. <laughs> What was that? What happened then? He said handkerchief, I think, just before the buzzer. Handkerchief. Okay. What are, what are we thinking here? For a key, a Sharon. I exploded. Oh, 110 euros for you. Well you, done, Sharon. You really sit at oh, well done. 11, don't you? I do. I think, Tim, I think since I've played this game last, your, your accent is getting thicker. Yeah, I'm Stubby. It's Stubby's very long. Yeah, I know, yeah. but I couldn't understand a few of those. You know, Stubby and, I, the game. Stubby and I had a Zoom. And we caught up about accents. Yeah, did you have a pint? did not. Yeah, we had a Zoom. I, I had to get in after his uh, mission get up radio show finished between 5 and 10. <laughs> okay, here we go, Kat Ritchie. Your oh, time starts oh, at the end. Oh, here she goes. Here she goes. A drink you have in the morning. Coffee. A form of transport that takes Cow. you overseas. Fine. What you use to brush your hair. Brush. A cocktail made with tequila and lime. Margarita. What you wear on your face to help you see better. Glasses. A sport that has position center and GI. A uh, GI? Go with a netball. Netball. <laughs> what you spray on your neck to make you smell Perfume. better. Something colorful you see in the sky after a storm. Rainbow. A drink you add milk or sugar to. Tea. What you wear on your head when it's cold. Hard for beanie. What you use to unlock your house. Key. A Mexican meal you have with soft or hard shells. Tacos. Oh Tacos. How did you go? Yeah. Oh. Oh, 
Well done. Team well done, done. We'll return again soon. <laughs> we'll see you Monday, Joel. See you then. And Kate, you and I will stick around. Oh, no. Kate, Tim and Joel. Hello. Can you put me through to the guy? Caller of the week. So many great calls this week. Like, so many. Um, so many. And we're asking, what did you fake? I can't remember why. Uh, oh, that's right, the hands, the fake hands. Oh, Prince, Prince Charles. Charles's, or King Charles's, yeah, agents yeah. or security. Or and we got this from Kaz. I faked the big O. <gasps> <laughs> I'm married and sometimes like, hurry up and get it done. With <laughs> oh, Kaz! Kaz. 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 Well done! You there, Kaz? Congratulations. Hello. Congratulations. We love your honesty. You've won our 31st Caller of the Week mug for the year and we're going to send you an exclusive Kate, Tim and Joel cocktail shaker. Yay, that's awesome. It's cocktail season. How exciting. Oh, don't fake that. Bye. No, don't fake that. <laughs> Kate, Tim and Joel's Week in Review. We started the week chatting about the big news stories. What about that truck that fell over on the weekend? Fell over? I don't think trucks fall over. (laughs) They tip. They They don't just go, oh, oh, my trips. The funny thing is what it had in it. It was just all dildos and lube. Oh, it's always, that's always the way as well. The truck was headed to my house and I was wondering why my truck was so late. And Joel gave us this little travel hack for the super famous. I fake who I am all the time overseas. I always say I'm Bob Irwin. Do you? Mm-hmm. Oh, I say I'm a nurse. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I've been overseas with both of you and you're both real big on telling everyone who you are. Mate. <laughs> no, we're not. Joel up. brings up YouTube clips of Show Me the Movie. Uh, I don't even think they're on YouTube. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Very low views if they are. <laughs> Tim filled us in on the difference between radio guys and TV guys. TV guys don't have the same ideas as we do, you know? No. Well, what am I then? What kind of ideas do I have? Well, I'm yet to see one. (laughs) (laughs) Do you have my email? (gasps) But no one listens to my ideas. Yeah, they do. Just can't wait to meet you. That was a good one. (laughs) What? Can't believe we haven't met yet. Whatever that book was. (laughs) Oh, my God. Are you talking about my children's book? That is so rude. Oh, my God, that's so rude. Oh, nice to meet you, Cobber. Whatever it was. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what was the second one called? It's just Scribble to Me. It's not Scribble to <laughs> no. Me. Oh, that's a good name. It is it's a good name. name. It's how your book called. It's, 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 it's a serious? It's a memoir. Awesome. It's not Scribble <laughs> 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 then we heard about this old saying. Buy an animal, a vegetable, or a mineral. Remember how you, know, you always ask that when you were a kid? I have people say that anymore. Like, it's, yeah. it's nostalgic. What are you? Well, we're animals. Mm. I'm a fruit. You so are. I'm a fruit. <laughs> so what, does that mean you're a mineral? Maybe. What mineral am I? You'd be like... Lead. Like sparkling. <laughs> and bringing everyone mineral. down. <laughs> Is that what you mean? And Tim told us what it's like working after a trip to the dentist. I do the show after my root canal. Oh, that's right. Mm, that's mm. right. Mm. Just like you off air. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, you I guys. got him. Oh, no, and he's no. in the room today, you know. He's, so he's a bit scared. But I kind of like that because at least it means he's brave enough to do it to your face as well. Yeah, because I do it behind his back when it's oh, yeah. No, real, yeah, he's a real bitch. <laughs> yeah, a real shit stirrer. And you're a real shit stirrer front, front on and back on. <laughs> we got the rundown on everyone's national day of morning plans. My oh, morning? Okay. I've got Molly coming over in the morning. Okay. All right. I'm morning in the morning and then morning in the afternoon. Who's coming? Uh, just a friend. Oh. He's a personal trainer. Oh, I thought you meant Molly Meldrum. <laughs> <laughs> He's my personal trainer. Yeah, we do two Toot and Carmen's. <laughs> what? Then we do the big pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> my bottom pyramid. I got to stand on the side. And we got to witness this game of the Whisper Challenge. It was, uh... Hectic. Hectic. Answer. Hectic. Elephant. Hectic. Esther. Hectic. Axe eloquent. Hectic. Easy. Hectic. Aaron. Ancient. Hectic. Hashtag. Hectic. Brexit. <laughs> Headphones off. Hectic. Yeah, so Joel ended up winning, but Tim gave Kate one last crack at it. Queen. 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 Yes! But you just got one. <laughs> what a week on the Kate, Tim and Joel show. Let's kick off the weekend with this classic. Yeah! Oh, what a week. So good to have you back, Kate Ritchie. Lovely to be back. Hopefully, hopefully Joel will be back well, one of you. Well, who knows? I'll be here, and this is for all the redheads. It is National Redhead Appreciation Day. Josh Homme, and also for the Queen as well. Queen to the Stone Age.
get it? Yeah, I get it, but uh, uh, I've been worried. I just said Joel will be back Monday. He's not going to be back Monday. We're on holiday. Oh, yeah. Bye. 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 Kate, Tim and Joel is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.